Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to create a game that involves navigating a character around a maze until it gets to the middle. So first of all, let's import the maze background onto the stage. So selecting Upload Backdrop from File, I'm going to bring in my maze background. And let's just delete that backdrop there. Well the first thing we can see is that our character, the Scratch Cat, is too big. So let's move it up to the top and shrink it because it's really important that it doesn't touch the edges. And before we go any further, we'll call it Explorer. Now let's bring in another sprite that the Explorer can rescue. So choosing a sprite from the library, I'm going to choose this monkey. And I'll call that Friend. Now let's add some code that allows the player to navigate the Explorer around the maze. Now this code has to go into the Explorer sprite, so select the Explorer sprite there. Now looking at my program plan or algorithm, I can see that I need a when the flag is clicked block and then a repeat forever for as long as the game is running. And I want to see if a certain key is pressed, let's say the right arrow, I need to point in direction right, that's 90 degrees on an imaginary graph on the screen, and I then want to move five steps. I can duplicate this and say that when the left arrow is pressed, point in direction left and move five steps, and duplicate both of these for up arrow and down arrow. So this will allow me to navigate my explorer around the maze. Let's try it. OK, I think I only want to move left and right. Now this seems to work, except that when it touches the side of the maze, it doesn't take the Explorer back to the starting position. So let's drag it back to the start, and we'll have one last if touching colour and I need to sample the blue of the maze, so I click in here and click the maze to sample it. So if touching color blue, go to the starting position. So click the green flag to test our program, and there we are. It always jumps back to the starting position when it touches the blue of the maze, which can be very annoying. We could even add an X costume block in each part of the movement. So that when I move the cat, it looks like it's walking. OK, so that seems to work. What we have to do now is program what happens when the explorer reaches its friend. And this takes place in the friend sprite. So once again, when the flag is clicked, we're going to show the friend in case it was previously hidden. And then we're going to start repeating forever. If touching the explorer, we're going to say thank you for two seconds. We'll hide the sprite and then we'll end the program by stopping all scripts. It's just like pressing the red stop button. Now to test my game, I'm not very good at this, so I'm going to cheat by placing the cat there. And there we are, a working game. There are lots of extra things we could do with this game, so feel free to experiment.